Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling, design team member with Unity Stamp Company. Today I have a celebration card. It's great for Happy New Year or for birthday or any celebration occasion. It's real cute. It has a gnome, a cute little gnome in it. And I'm using stamps by Unity Stamp Company and the kit name is Party on Gnome. It's really, really sweet. And so here it is, it's a glass, like a wine glass or champagne glass, and it's got a little gnome hanging there on the edge of the glass. And the sentiment there is, is fun. There's a couple sentiments in the kit. I'm using this one. I'm using some gold cording and some black cardstock. I have watercolor by Gonse Tombi Starry Colors. And I am going to add watercolor to um, the background cardstock. I'm not going to use watercolor paper in this case. And I'm also going to use a little of the watercolor onto the gnome's hat. And that's just on uh, cardstock as well. So I am starting with just adding a little Copic accents to the gnome. I'm using layers from dark to light. And then I go in, um, oh, I'm using grays here. And I go in with a zero marker, which is a colorless blender and blend out some of those areas that were a little too dark and it helps with blending those those grays together and then i add a little bit of browns and tans accents for the gnome and i'm going to color the glass with a little bit of light blue and teal just to give it uh, just to give it a translucent look for um for the glass itself there's a little bit of wine or champagne down in the bottom of that glass. It's, it's, a, it's a cute, cute celebration card. I added a little shadow in, in, in uh, a few shades of gray. And then I came in with a colorless blender on that as well to erase some of those harsh lines. And so there you go. It's a, it's a cut panel that I'm going to use. I trimmed it to go right onto this black cardstock panel. But before I added it, I added um, with a wide paintbrush, I added some gold watercolor. I'm just adding stripes of gold. And it dries it's so pretty. It dries just like it's wet. It's beautiful shimmer in these colors. I just decided to go ahead and just use the same um, darker gold color and only partially uh, partially on this background panel because a lot of it's going to be covered with the gnome panel. There you go. It's so pretty. And then I set that aside to dry, clean up uh, any mess on it. And um, that's, that's what it looks like wet. And believe me, it really looks very similar when it dries. I love it. So I made a, I, I made a little mask for the gnome glass just by trimming with scissors a piece of paper that I'm laying over the gnome and glass and I'm using the same gold splatters around the glass and the gnome. Now I didn't want those splatters to be directly onto the glass so I added that mask. Very easy to do. Now I'm going to add that watercolor, that gold watercolor, the same shade of gold onto just the hat portion. And so I go in with just an outline of it. I add some water to make it more watery now and I'm going to use that water area to blend out that watercolor right there on the hat. It's uh, It blends out nicely and easily and even works, it even works without using watercolor paper. It will blend better on watercolor paper, but I didn't want to use it for this, this particular card. Now, once that gold dried, I added some silver Starry Colors uh, watercolor. It's silver, more, more of a white color. It turns out white. I added it to that hat and to the black background right over the gold watercolor. And I heat set everything, make sure it dries nicely. I added a hole punch to the sentiment. I trimmed it out and I'm going to add foam tape to the gnome panel and add that right over the black watercolored um, panel. Adding double-sided tape to place that panel onto the card front or the card base. 
and it's so pretty just like that um it's so pretty thanks so much for watching i hope you take a moment to subscribe to my channel like and share this video have a great day